Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends. Today, we're going to do a little stream. Don't know how long this is going to go, don't know if this is going to work. This is the first time I'm actually trying this out on YouTube, so wish me luck. Let me know when you come in, or if you see this later on the replay, how it sounds, what the audio is like. I might, need, I might need to make adjustments or stop at any time, so we'll just kind of see what's going on. Um, hey, got some people coming in the ch into the chat. In case you just missed my opening... I don't know what I'm doing, so bear with me. Um, <laughs> out of time. Hey, thanks for coming out. Cranked EDH, Stax TCG, Lucas Garrett, uh, Lolcat Chat Roulette, and oh, I got a system message. What's happening? Something's already broken. I've been on for four seconds. Um, <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, Rio Cruz, Weak Links, um, Jonathan Nunez, Nicholas, um, I'm going to say someone's name wrong, Cujano, Chris Powers. Hey, thanks for coming. Um, I thought what we do today is I'd stream a little arena, maybe play a little team or reclamation, and then see when the uh, mystery cards come out, what's going on with those. So, very cool. Let me know how the audio is, if I need to. <laughs> Who says it's Oko banned yet? Um, it's getting there, I'm sure. November 18th. Um, it looks probably going to be banned November 18th in standard. So, I'm trying team or reclamation to see how that works. Um since that does not play Oko, or doesn't have to play Oko. Um, cool, sounds good. Thanks, Stax. Very good. Well, what I think I'm going to do is jump into a game of Team of Reclamation and see how that goes, and see how the extreme's working when things are actually moving on it. All right, I'm just going to go into the play lobby and pull it up. I'll show you my deck list in a second, too. I should have done that to begin with. So, who else is coming in here? We got uh, Real Cruz, Glam, Glam Drink, Warhammer, Howdy. Uh, mystery cards are coming out at three o'clock today. They're gonna start getting open. So um, We'll go over what I'll do is I'll check reddit like after we play this game and see if people are posting pictures yet And maybe we can look and see what's going on with those um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't know what they are. It sounds like a chaos draft type thing, but I don't know So let's see what we got here with this hand I'm I'm also new to the deck not only am I streaming like for the first time, but I'm also playing a deck I've never played before so this is gonna be a disaster and I I thank you all for being here for it um, <laughs> Let's see. Uh, let's keep it. I think this is an okay hand. He's got the brazen borrower. I mean, that's action, right? So thank you all for coming out. I really appreciate this like I said This is new to me. So bear with me Looks like the opponent's gonna maul so, there's that. Crank DDS, you're, go you're going to GP Richmond tomorrow. Commander in old school, that's awesome. I need to get out to an event at some point. I've been so busy. On the weekends, I always make the Market Watch videos, so I can't play Magic. <laughs> Dylan Herbert. Well, people are speculating that Oko will get banned in Standard November 18th. I mean, we don't know that for sure, but maybe. Alright, Mystical Dispute on top. Yeah, I'll keep that, I guess. If you're just tuning in, I'm learning how to play this, and I'm learning how to stream, so... <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Thanks, Philip. I'll try to keep, uh, keep engaged. I mean, sometimes I see people streaming and they're just playing and not even saying anything. That doesn't seem too exciting, though. All right, let's see. I could grow a spiral, I suppose, next turn if nothing else happens. I can also play the Brazen Borrower. I'm also trying to do this and um, play Magic. We'll see how that goes. If you're looking for, like, pro-level gameplay, probably this is not the stream for you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can have that, that's fine. I don't know if this is like dance, um, a dance deck maybe, I don't know. I haven't played a lot of standard this season. Because I was just not really into the scene. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna grow a spiral. And we'll play this. This. What do we need? We have blue, we have red. Maybe take one more green. <laughs> I 
yeah, Clex hey, Clexi Yoshi, thank you. A lot of people I see commenting all the time, which is cool, so. I um, guess I'm not taking green. Um, I'll just take a blue then. So, yeah, thanks. I, yeah, Market Watch is, I think a lot of people just watch, there's a number of people who just watch the Market Watch, and that's cool. I try to do some other things, though, from time to time. But the Market Watch videos, I don't know, I have fun making those because they are... <laughs> they're very involved. They take a long time. Um, but I don't know. I always kind of like tracking prices. I don't even own like these cards necessarily, but um, I definitely don't buy cards anymore. I sell cards, but I don't buy cards. Um, so yeah, but it's fun to track the prices. I have a good time with it. Like, just doing it. <laughs> Ming Ming. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. So actually, now there's two walls up. I think what I'm going to have to do here, I'm kind of half paying attention. Um, we're going to have to get this brazen bar we're going. So maybe what I'll do is this. Play this. I can bounce something, although I don't know if I want to give that back to them. Because I don't want to start getting milled. This could be the mill deck, I suppose. Um, I could just, I don't have a team, or I don't have a reclamation yet, so that's a problem. Um, yeah, this isn't a great start. Let's see. I do want to get the Brazen Borrower out to put some pressure on, so I think what I'm going to do is just wait and see what they do on their turn. And if I have to bounce something cool, I can do both. If I don't have to bounce something, then I'll just put the 3-1 flyer in the air. MTG booster pack reaction. Um, yeah, this is John from Heroes and Leg Legends, Kogan. So, um, yeah, booster pack reaction. We're going to go over once they start posting pictures and stuff. 3 o'clock, they're supposed to start opening them. So we'll see what they what it's all about. Um, yeah, 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 you can resolve that. Pass. So, so yeah, I'm excited. I, I don't know. It feels like it's going to be like a... Oh, we won. How about that? <laughs> uh, wow. Not only did... We just got lucky there, huh? I had no idea what I was doing. But apparently they did not have a good hand. And they, they decided to back out. Um, I'll show you my deck real quick. Uh, this is the deck list. This is the deck list that came in, I think, 12th place at, um, at GP in France this weekend. And it was... Um, I can't remember who was playing it now. Unfortunately, I should have wrote that down. But, let's see. Here's what I was playing with. Uh, three copies of Opt, three Ether Gust. Um, and of course, the, a lot of this, too, you got to remember, is because Oko's out there, the Ether Gust in the main board, in the main deck, three of them. Um, Growth Spirals, uh, two Brazen Borrowers, three Bro Bone Crusher Giants, a couple Flame Sweeps, Mystical Dispute. That's actually, I, I don't know, that could be main deckable regardless it's a, it's a good card uh, but definitely with oko out there four wilderness reclamation chainers uh, chemistry's insights escaped uh, escape to the wilds and expansion explosions basically what you can do with this deck if you haven't seen it in action before you can play multiple wilderness reclamations and then kind of untap all your lands with the first trigger play put your mana into the pool untap your lands put the mana into the pool and then do a big explosion for expansion explosion so, yeah, there you go. I have to practice this, though, and figure out what I'm doing with it, I think. <laughs> so, we'll see. And Tyler, uh, the mystery packs, they are basically mysteries. We don't know what's in them. Um, but they're going to start using them at events, at conventions, where you can play, like, Sealed. And today's the first day. So we don't know what's in these packs. Um, and then they said they're going to do it at game stores too. So, But they said the packs will be different. Whatever that means. Maybe different cards in them. I don't know. So we should find out more soon, I suppose. Um, I don't think this is a great hand. I mean, it does have an opt and a chemistry's insight so we can see more cards. Hmm. I'll try it. There's only one, one way to learn how to play this deck. See if this is good enough. <laughs> is there anyone else from Heroes and Legends? Uh, yes, I do have 
I, I do all like the voiceover stuff, but there are a couple friends that sometimes put together like slides and stuff for me. So they don't really go on camera or go well, not that I even have a camera, but they don't really do voiceovers and stuff, but oh yikes. This is gonna be fun. Um <laughs> but yeah, there are some people that help out with the channel too. So mostly though, it, it's mostly me. Power nine. Um, Mike Mistrani said Power 9 and the Mystery Packs. They did tell us one thing. They said that there's not going to be any reserve list cards in there. <laughs> it's the only thing they told us. So, I think they're going to be reprints. And I think they're going to try to create like a chaos draft type situation. Gonna be, curi gonna be curious though to see what they actually reprint. I, mean, I think we're in trouble. I'm just going to opt here and just see what we can see. Um, yeah, that's okay. I mean, we're gonna need the fourth land, so... Sure. Yes. Here, I'm just gonna play this since it comes in play tap. I can bounce this with the 2-2, two -two, which will be a 3-3, three -three with the Brazen Borrower. Um, uh, okay, yeah. Um, sure. No, we're just gonna look and see what people are opening. Um, has bizarre. Um, we're going to... I'm going to check Reddit and kind of see if people are posting pictures and stuff. And then we'll look at them together. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? So yeah, like one minute people are going to start opening friends. them in Richmond at the event there. It's, it's, um, so that... That's pretty cool. I'm excited. Okay. So I do need to bounce this thing as quickly as possible, basically. So let's just do this. <laughs> I think we're dead. Um... <laughs> I'll learn how to play this deck for the next stream that I do, I promise. Hey, Murat. Um, kind of, sort of. They're going to open those mystery packs right at 3 o'clock, like right now, in Richmond. So I'm assuming people are going to start posting what's actually on them. Um, yeah, let that resolve. Uh, what's actually in them, so yeah, we're gonna look at them as they start, as the pictures start coming out, kind of see what's happening. Just kind of off the cuff, obviously. I don't have time to. Oh, I just clicked through that. Oh, that's fine. I can still play it, right? Yep. Go back to your hand with that. We're still gonna take two, though. Chris Powell, half hours. <laughs> Richmond's only 14 hours away. Yeah, that's probably, I don't know, it's probably a little farther from me, but. Wish I was there. I was just saying earlier, I wish I could go to some more events. I always do market watch videos on, like, on Saturdays, and they take all day. I actually start working on them on you know, Friday to start putting together information, and then all day Saturday I work on them. So then I guess I could go to events on Sunday, but then you kind of miss the, the big events. Of course, if I continue playing like this, I probably shouldn't go to any events. Um, what do we need here? Um, sure, sure. I really don't have any way to defend against this, do I? I could see another card. Maybe that's the best thing at this point. That is not the worst thing in the world. Unfortunately, it doesn't deal with that, but it can kill one of the incoming 1-1s. One I could just play this as a blocker. Oh, no, I can't. I only have two mana. Okay, so... Oh, well. Yeah, the Borrower I could still play. Say hi to my fiery friends. Right? Where is the Borrower? Oh, went to the Graveyard. I'm only kind of half paying attention, <laughs> honestly. So, yeah, I can do this. This isn't so good, though. <laughs> We're going to take four and go down to three. And actually, do I take damage? Only if they sacrifice. Yeah, I think it's a little too little too late. Oh, yeah, and this will finish us off with which one. Oh, well.
<laughs> they had a full security escort with the mystery packs. That's funny, Andrew and Rick. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of people that like to see what's in them. I can't believe it hasn't been leaked. Like, they're printing cards somewhere, right? How did they not get leaked? We've already seen Theros cards. Um, <laughs> mostly commons, though, but still. Okay. You know what I'll do? If you don't mind watching the screen for a little bit, we'll talk. And I'm going to look over and just check Reddit and just see what's coming up here, if anything. I have my other screen up so I can do that while we're chatting. And just start seeing if people are posting photos. And then once they do, I'll start putting some up and we'll look at them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tony Stack. Spoiler season did start early. I <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't know how to prevent that, I guess, from Wizards' point of view, because they have cards printed all over the world, and there's obviously people in places that are just taking them or taking pictures of them and what have you, but, I mean, sometimes Wizards spoils it themselves by mistake, like, they'll send cards out, like, they used to do that with promos all the time. The promos just start showing up at game stores, <laughs> but, like, like that's their own, that's their own fault, but, um... But like when, but the printer is definitely people are taking them, you know, while they're being printed or taking photos of them. <laughs> It'd be nice if they could figure out a way to prevent that, but I don't know how they ever would, honestly. Well, nothing's posted yet. I'll just keep refreshing. I'm sure it will happen soon. <laughs> Ash, <laughs> Ash says, "Sell Oko now." Yeah, probably. I think Oko, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen to Oko in, like, Modern. Like, Modern might be able to adjust for the card and be fine. I do think eventually it will get hit in Pioneer as soon as it gets to the point where it becomes too powerful there. And when they ban other things, then that's eventually just going to be the thing. So, Vintage, it was really good, too. But, again, Vintage might be able to compensate if you give it time. I don't think there's a live stream that has it, Tony, um, that I know of. <laughs> Man of Ramp, hey. Another person that always leaves a lot of comments. Mr. Variant, what's going on? <laughs> you pre-ordered a gift bundle? Awesome. Yeah, username malfunctioning. I don't know why they don't stream more stuff. I mean, I don't I know it's expensive, and I'm sure that's what it comes down to. But I do feel like people would be interested. I would watch more. Thanks, Mana Ramp. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm going to try to do some of these every once in a while. Maybe more often, like when they do stuff like this with like reveals. Hey, Evan. says, mystery boosters are now being opened, <laughs> but no pictures yet. Uh, I'll keep checking. Clash Yoshi. Um, Commander Legends, wow. Um, like, for me, like, a lot of the staples, like, obviously, um, like, cards, like, the Commanders are one thing, but, like, the staples just really need to get reprinted. I mean, things like... Um, expropriate, right? <laughs> um, Teferi's was the white, uh, can't think of the name now. The one from Commander a couple of years ago, the Teferi card that has, um, that has the vanishing. Like that type of stuff. <laughs> Every mystery booster is just a 3 3 elk token. <laughs> yeah, it just might be at this point. <laughs> hey, thanks, Chris. I appreciate that. I'm kind of watching the chat and watching Reddit, so I might miss a few things here and there. There's a video of them getting ready to open them now while that's up. So, we'll see. I'm sure they'll be pouring in soon. <laughs> Hopefully it's not just standard reprints. 
they did say they're doing something like they're doing multiple things like in these packs which makes me feel like chaos draft like they might just be trying to throw a bunch of like interesting concepts together but i don't know yeah they are doing a new baron saint gear in commander legends which i'm looking forward to seeing It's just an unset. Maybe. It could be also a silver border. You know, Wizards, though, they've hyped this up a lot. You think it, You would think it's got to be something pretty good. Hey, Mr. Variant, thank you for the $3. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. This is my first stream, so... <laughs> it's a little rough right now. I won't lie to you. <laughs> but I appreciate that. <laughs> I played some bad magic for a few minutes, and now we're waiting for Reddit to show us pictures of stuff. Um, <laughs> but thank you. There is a stream link, link, it says, on Reddit right now. I don't know where it goes to, though. Some packs are being opened live. Looks like on stream or on video, maybe on Twitter. Periscope live stream is up, Caesar C says. Hey, Christian. Yup, it's me. Trying to figure out how to stream on here. This is the first time I've done it. There's 330 people watching. That's actually kind of awesome. Thank you all for being here. Um, I want to do this more, more often in the future, and um, I'll get better at it, I promise. <laughs> I need to learn how to read chat and play magic. That's the trick, because that was the hardest part so far. <laughs> and I was playing Team of Reclamation, which I played like a handful of times before. So that was probably not the best choice of deck either. Hey, thanks. I appreciate that, TRPG Games. Thanks, G-Bust. I'm going to refresh Reddit again see if there's any pictures yet. Yeah, I do have a mono red deck. I could play that. <laughs> I'm better at that, probably. Um... I don't, I didn't want to spend a lot of wild cards. I have one Tomar in there. Or Tor, what's his name? It's not Tomar. Uh, the guy that doubles the damage. But anyway, I have one where I probably would like to have a few more of those in that deck. But it's a, it's a, um, Cavalcade deck. <laughs> live stream the live stream. <laughs> that might belong to somebody, I think, right? Grant M. Hey, thank you. Yeah, flip side, they, um, I mean, they don't specialize in a lot of, like, old singles and stuff. They tend to do, at least, um, right now, newer products. Um, I think it's because they're kind of growing when it comes to their online sales. They, hey, Ash Seth, thank you for that $5. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, and Christian, too. Thank you for the dollar, uh, super chat. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, not necessary, but thank you. I do appreciate that. That's really awesome. So, yeah. But was oh yeah about flip side. So yeah, they're they're kind of building their footprint when it comes to online sales. I mean, you know, there's the big ones out there, Channel Fireball and Star City and stuff, and they've grown a lot in the last year. They do have a lot more, and their prices are a lot more competitive now than they were. Um, so I think they're gonna get there. But yeah, right now, like they don't have a lot of old singles and stuff, unfortunately. But the system's in place to have it online. They have all the sets, like you can look at every card, they just don't have them in stock. I'm gonna check again. Oops. Nothing yet. If anyone hears of any cards, let me know in the chat. Until the pictures start coming in. Hey, Lucas. We're going to be um, looking at some pictures of mystery card, mystery pack cards soon, hopefully. <laughs> Channel Fireball stream is up, Tom Power says. Channel Fireball Periscope showing packs being opened. They're about to be opened. <laughs> I'm sure it's a big dramatic thing. <laughs> I 
Yeah, thanks, Mr. Varian. I, I appreciate that. Um... Yeah, they do have good prices. Like, when you use the Heroes promo code, it, it really is good for, like, booster boxes and stuff like that, for sure. Ultimate Masters, they had good prices on last year, I remember. Mega Man, do I go to big events? Um, I used to. <laughs> um, funny story. I don't go as much anymore because I'm so busy making videos. <laughs> so, I kind of want to go to, like, an SCG event or a Grand Prix again, but... Um, I always do the market watches on Saturdays and I work all day on Saturday on those and most of Friday too. Um, and by then Sunday, I don't really feel like going because like you miss the big event, right? You know, so I will sometime. I also have a lot of family commitments on Sunday too. So that makes it difficult. Um, I have not do I play commander? I do. Um, I like to play. I want to build some new decks. I've been playing um, Ural for a long time. Um, I like that because it's just kind of fun, voltron -y sort of thing. Um, I, I mean, most of the decks I play are pretty casual. I did play Zer for a while. That was a little spiky. <laughs> a little too spiky. Um, but there's a lot of new ones I really want to try out, too. Comic Book Gallery. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Mega Man, thank you. I appreciate that, too. Yeah, the market watches are a lot of work, <laughs> but I like doing them. I have fun with them, so, and people appreciate it. I feel like I'm helping people out because, I mean, so many times I remember going to websites or message boards and people saying, why is this card spiking? Why is that card spiking? So on and so forth. And yeah, if you don't have time to research all that stuff, you don't know. I mean, it takes me hours to research it for the video, <laughs> so I do the same thing. I'm like, why is this card spiking? Um... <laughs> <laughs> hey dusk yeah i was playing for a little bit i'll definitely play some more in the future um i was actually hoping to get online around two ish or maybe even before and play a little more but since this is the first time i ever streamed it took me a little bit to kind of get everything set up that i didn't realize i had to do so i was like okay um they're opening now says uh has Paza. so thank you packs are now being opened yeah, definitely, Jason. I'll keep doing these streams. I'll have to see, like, when I can work them in and stuff, maybe every so often. I like to. I'll definitely play more in the future, too. Or if stuff like this happens, maybe during, like, preview season. Because one thing I thought about is preview season can become very taxing when previews come out as much as they have. So maybe I'll do a format where I can we can play and then look at the cards that were previewed and stuff like that. That might be a little easier. <laughs> Yeah, Eric, I wish they were live streaming more GPs, just generally. I like watching them, but I, I guess they, I'm sure they cost a ton to, to, to um, do, but still. Kind of sad that we don't get to see more. Tom Power says original set symbols. Oh, hey, Caesar, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thanks for the $2 super chat. Guys have been awesome. Thank you all. I really appreciate everything because I did not even think about Super Chats or expect them. So I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Assorted Commons. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> They're just recent cards. Masters, Commons, and Uncommons. Cards from Commander Products. Baleful Strix. Oh, that's a decent one, but not an expensive card. There's a card from Odyssey. Still waiting for some pictures. I know the video is going right now. I'm sure there'll be some photos coming soon. Yeah, that's true. Baleful Strix uh, foil is a great card to have, for sure. Hopefully, there's got to be some good cards in here, right? Because <laughs> they really hyped it up. If they hyped it up and there's a bunch of uncommons and commons from, like, master sets, yikes. <laughs> People are not going to be happy. Hurricane. Is it the blue hurricane? That would be... Or the green hurricane? That would be good. Or, the, yeah, the blue hurricane. <laughs> Probably not the blue hurricane. <laughs> Uh, 
Elko Thief of Crown alternative art. Thyrexian Metamorph. That's not bad. Be kind of sad if they don't put some like mythics. Like, I don't know. I kind of thought Mox Opal would show up or something like that in some of the packs. Island Fish. <laughs> that takes me back. Psychotog. That would, used to be a fun card. That would be fun to play in draft for sure or sealed. So they're basically repacks, it sounds like. They're they're not reprints. They they are the old cards. Is that what I'm hearing? Tibalt the Chaotic. So mystery, they're kind of like priceless treasures, but maybe not always priceless. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, you would think some fetch lands would show up or something like that. But if they're re if they're repacks, that means they'd have to get the cards from somewhere. And it's one thing to do like the priceless treasures and get a full a few cards to sprinkle in here or there. But to actually make packs, I don't know how they would do that with really good cards. Go ship. <laughs> I used to like go ship. <laughs> You put it in your, like, pirate commander deck, I guess. One with death. <laughs> Ouch. I still know pictures. I know the videos are going out there. Channel Fireball's putting some videos out. I'm moving stuff around in here. I need to get a chair that doesn't squeak, too. That'd be nice for streaming purposes. Good for recording, too. I'll be recording a video... And I'll be talking, and then my chair squeaks, so then I just have to, like, stop and start that section over. <laughs> For, or at least the sentence over. <laughs> oh, thanks, Chris. Yeah, I was worried about the audio, because I never did this before. Just getting it all matched up right. But seems like it's okay, from what I'm hearing. Hey, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. Each pack has one of the new uncards in it. Silence, assign, 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 assign. I'm going to butcher people's names, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> there was no leaks because there was nothing to leak. They're just old cards. I mean, I imagine... Oh, hey, Joshua. Thank you very much for the $3 Super Chat. I really appreciate that. Thanks so much. That's awesome. That's really cool. I was just saying earlier, I did not expect that, so thank you so much. I mean, if you put these packs out there, I suppose you could put some really good cards in from time to time. Maybe just nobody's opened anything crazy yet. Mystic Confluence is pretty good. Like, I'd be happy to get that. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Maybe I got a picture here. Hang on. Oh, they have playtest cards in there? I did see someone say that on chat, but I wasn't sure if that was a question or they actually did. Okay, I'm going to save some pictures and we'll look at them. Mm-hmm. I mean, the playtest cards are kind of cool. Obviously, someone could probably forge them pretty easily. Oh, Mark, thank you for the $5 super chat. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I'm going to say that one time per video. <laughs> uh, this is a rare time that I'm doing a live video, but hopefully it won't be rare in the future. I'd like to do more of them, definitely. But thank you for the super chat. That's really awesome. I appreciate that. Yeah, um, Hespaza, yeah, this does sound a little, um, 
disappointing from what I'm hearing so far. I got a couple pictures I'll pull up in a second here. All right, let me see what I can find. Might take me a second on OBS. So this is, again, kind of the first time I'm doing this, but it's pretty easy to learn. Okay, I just have to minimize this picture. Stand by. So here's one of the first pictures that came out. Try to make it a little smaller. I have two screens, but they're actually two laptops. So it's, it's a wireless connection, which is making it a little difficult too, but okay. Bear with me for a second. Here we go. Okay, so this is one picture somebody posted. So mass abundance, but it's a playtest looking style card. So it doesn't look like they're even like really playtest cards unless maybe these were, I don't know. Um, what they look like, but they put the real card name on, I would imagine they'd have to do that as opposed to the playtest name. Um, there's a Dorned Pouncer. Looks like it's something else from Amiket. And yeah, they are, yeah, they're the cards. They're not reprints. So no additional inventory coming into the environment. That was, that's what I was really curious about when it comes to market watch stuff. Like, are they reprinting cards that are going to like impact value? Not really. <laughs> um, yikes. I don't know. I mean, unless there's some really cool, like, rare cards you can find in here. And they did say no. They did say no. Um, they did say no um, reserve list cards. So. So there's one. I have another picture here that is all those play test looking cards. Let me pull that up real quick. Okay, so here's one of the playlists, um, of the um, playtest looking cards. So the Mana Abundance we saw in the last picture, Biting Re Remark, Skycast, Test Card, not for Constructed Play. Recycle Bird. So I assume some of these are from, or are all of these playtest cards from the upcoming Unset? Maybe. Is that what they are? <laughs> Let's pause. This is someone was saying they got a uh, Eternal Masters Mana Crypt, but it might be just bogus. Like, I wouldn't be shocked if there were some of those type of cards out there, but I don't think it's going to happen often, right? Like, because Wizards would have had to buy those cards from somewhere, and those aren't cheap cards. <laughs> so... Like, sports cards, they've done repacks a lot in the past. People, they'll buy, like, Tops will buy collections of cards, and they'll just put them in packs. And there are, you know, chase cards, you know, every once in a while you do get some big hit. So maybe it's kind of like that, but I don't know. How to keep an Isn't Mage busy? I do like them. I think they're pretty fun, but... <laughs> I can't really tell. That's not printed on the card, right? They're actually stuck on the on a card, I believe. I'm assuming. Tony Stack. Those are the white backgrounds. That's how they do uh, testing before they print the cards. They make up these little like pictures and and they they print it out like this so they can play with cards when they play test. 
So that's what these are supposed to look like. I can't really tell if they're like really play test cards because what they would do is stick them on. So it's not a sticker. Okay. So normally with play test cards, you would stick it onto an existing card like a land or something and play with it. But it looks like these are actually printed on cards just so they look like play test cards, perhaps. But they do look like, yeah, Manor Ramp says, yeah, they do look like, um, like scans of play test cards, perhaps, and printed on the card then. Okay. So those might have some value long term, especially if any of them are particularly good. Because those would be fun to play with, definitely, like, casually, <laughs> if nothing else. Someone pulled the crypt, Evan says. Yeah, you gotta think. There's gotta be some good cards in here. I'm gonna go and look and see if any more pictures have come up. Pictures aren't coming in too quickly, it looks like, but I assume people are trying to build their decks and stuff. I think once they get their deck lists together, we might see some more stuff. Huh. Those are pretty interesting, though. Mark Jones asks, how much are these? I think that's the question. How much will people want to pay for these, you think? <laughs> I mean, they're kind of cool. I think the problem was when they hyped this up, they were kind of like, it's a mystery. You don't know what's in there, and everybody's going to think the most amazing things, right? So obviously it does probably feel like a letdown to a lot of people when it's just kind of like commons on commons and, and then these special cards. The special cards look cool, though. <laughs> I'll give them that. <laughs> Someone did get a Mana Crypt. <laughs> seven a pack, Bobby Funk. Is it, are they are they seven cards in a pack? Is that what you're saying? Um, Hazard, um, Hazard. There is a there is a live um, broadcast. I think somebody said in the chat where it was, but Channel Fireball is doing some filming. I also got to wonder, too, this sounds bad, but how do people know what people actually opened in these, right? Like, could you not just sneak some card and be like, I opened this in my pack, <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, people could do that anyway with Sealed, I suppose, but still, this is even, like, bigger, because this could be any card. <laughs> so I guess you, you must have to register, like, nor I don't know if they're doing it at the event, but you probably have to register, like, a deck list, but... I don't know how you do that even. You'd have to write every card out, I suppose. Magic logo is in the bottom left. Oh, so they do have... Oh, I didn't notice that on the other picture. I'll have to look again. Do they have the Planeswalker symbol in the bottom left of all the cards? Or is it just these? Let me go back to that last picture again and just kind of see. Oh yeah, I do see. They do have they do have a magic symbol on them. So I guess my question is, is that a stamp that they put on existing cards, or did they actually reprint these cards? Because I know sports cards they've done that before, where they'll just stamp them. They'll they'll buy back a bunch of old sports cards. And then Tops will put them in packs and they'll put a special stamp on them. The Crypt's been confirmed, it sounds like. So someone got a someone got a good card. It could be a stamp like they do on art now. That's what I'm thinking. Because I don't think they printed all these cards. Except maybe the playtest looking cards. The PW stamps on art. It's all cards. Thank you, Michael. So, yeah. 
Makes sense. Yep, anniversary stamps. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. I was hoping for more myself, Domo. I mean, like I said, if you open, if you're lucky and you open a Mana Crypt, nothing wrong with that. And even some other things, Mystic, uh, um, or the Mystic Confluence was mentioned. It could be fun to play, definitely, <laughs> but copyright is still 2014 from C14, yeah. So they just stamp the cards. Yeah, playing with the test cards is probably fun. I mean, it would be fun to do if I'm at an event, right? Or at my game store. Yeah, repacks can be in various conditions. You're right, Mark. You might not get a mint, <laughs> a mint out of pack mana crypt. <laughs> Could be beat up. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we kind of know what the mystery packs are now, uh, Kenny. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see if any more pictures have come out. Those were the first couple. Yeah, there's a few more. A lot of the a lot of people are posting the playtest cards right now. The playtest looking ones, anyway. I'm going to put up a couple more pictures in just a second. I'm really surprised, though, that they didn't... They didn't um, try to quell people's expectations a little bit. Other than no reserve list cards, they did say that. But I'm a little surprised we're not seeing, like... before this coming out just some sort of like at least vague explanation of what this is yeah i think i think people have to kind of take a moment you're right philip like after you get past the your, your expectations maybe weren't met, then are these cool? Maybe, maybe they are. It definitely depends on what they are and how good how good they can be. All right, here's another card somebody posted. One with death, one black, you lose the game instant. <laughs> um, there's got to be a reason you play that, right? Some first... Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying here. <laughs> Let's see if I can zoom in on that a little better. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably wouldn't be happy either if I opened that manual. <laughs> oh, yeah, you could donate the spell on the stack. Good call, Mana Ramp. Yep. So, yeah, if you could give the spell away. That could be kind of fun. Okay, I think I, there's another one here too. Hang on a second. I mean, I like what they did with the art and stuff. I mean, it's fun. I'll, I'll give it that. But I think people were just expecting a lot more. Okay, this one is Golgari Death Swarm. <laughs> April Fool's game early. So, five casting cost. Bat Fungus Horror, Flying Vigilance, 4-4. Four, four. Sure. <laughs> uh... 
Um, good question. Good question, Ratchet fan. I I would assume if there's a difference between they did say there is a difference between the convention packs and the ones game stores will get. So maybe it's the stamp. Maybe there's a different stamp for convention packs or something like that. I don't know. I mean, maybe they're just kind of saying there's going to be different types of cards. Who knows? Maybe stores will get something different. But I would assume it's along the same lines as this type of thing, though, regardless. I'm going to check and see if there's any more pictures coming up or not yet. So other than, I mean, it sounds like a couple cool cards were opened. I haven't seen pictures of them yet, but but it seems like people right now are a little more interested in these play test cards just because they're, it looks like they're the unique thing that are in here. Here's another picture. Let's see what this one is. Uh, hopefully I picked the right one, yep. Maybe I can zoom in on this one a little bit. Mark Jones, is there a mystery booster checklist? I don't think so. At least they haven't put anything out yet. Maybe they will, but sounds like it's a lot of cards they probably bought back and then put stamps on them, and then maybe they'll have a checklist of these specialty cards, perhaps. Target instant or sorcery spell becomes a copy of Lightning Bolt. Its controller may choose new targets for it. Cost a, a uh, red and one. Hmm. I did see another card reference, Pacifism. It comes into play with a token of Pacifism attached to it, so they seem to be playing into that. Using old cards as a reference. That could be kind of fun. Oh, Melissa DeTora did did the artwork for a playtest card, Jason. That's cool. They probably let a lot of the people from Watsy do that. Kind of like the card Rosewater did years ago. The Was it Look at Me, I'm the... DCI, I think it is. I can't remember the name of it now, but yeah. <laughs> Black Lotus. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> a, mana, a Mana Crypt would be nice, though, too. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's awesome. <laughs> but I don't know how often that's going to happen, probably, is the thing. But when you do pull something crazy, it probably feels amazing, right? I guess it's got that going for it. Just that, that sort of gambling aspect of it all. Ixi Roin, uh, these are from Mystery Packs that right now they're opening them in Richmond at the GP. They're playing like sealed with them. But apparently you're going to be able to play these in game stores too at some point. And they're, it looks like there are a lot of just old cards. A lot of them are just commons and uncommons, but then they have these cards that look like playtest cards in them that are really unique and weird. So... <laughs> I haven't. Finally, my Bat Fungus Tribal Deck will be complete. That's the card you needed right there. That was it. <laughs> that was the last of your 99. <laughs> I do like them. Like, the more I look at those cards, I think they are pretty sweet. So, I don't know. People may come around and really grab onto these. But I do think initially, people are going to be a little disappointed that it's not, you know... Huge reprints coming out of them. <laughs> Domo, so it's a Walmart Walmart repack then. <laughs> yeah, maybe there were better cards in them, and then somebody bought them and returned them. <laughs> uh, G 
Jan beats um, uncards in there. I heard someone say there were some uncards in there. I haven't seen pictures yet, though. I assume these playtest cards are just made up for this product. I don't think these are like the upcoming uncards, but I don't know for sure. Confirm sometimes two rares per pack. Okay. I kind of envisioned, again, having probably too high expectations that it would be like playing a uh, cube that you might get a whole bunch of rares in a pack, but if you were going to draft it, probably that would work better, though. For sealed, that might be awkward. Hospiza, I think from what I'm picking up from the chat and from the pictures, I think they're actually printed that way. So they're printed to look like a a playtest card, like a scan of a playtest card is printed on there. <laughs> and then there could be, there could be anything in a mystery booster, even more mysteries. Yep. <laughs> Um, they're on Reddit. I've just been going back to Reddit and refreshing every few minutes, Cole. So if you check there, you might be able to find some of the pictures. I'm sure more and more will get posted all day as people... This is the like the initial group that are playing. So they're opening. They're trying to deck build now, too. Oh, this one's kind of funny. Hang on a second. A new one came up that I'll post for you. Oh, here's a couple new ones. Seems like everybody's just posting these playtest style cards, though. They're probably the interesting ones out of the set. Or out of the packs, I should say. I don't really know if it's actually like a set. Okay, I got a few new ones. Let's take a look at these. It'll be interesting to see, secondary market, though, what these will go for. Because if this is the only way to get these cards, and... They're going to be at events all year. I don't know like at, at like what um, amounts each one shows up or anything, but this one's kind of cut off. We can't see the power toughness, but it's an elemental. We can see that much. So Siege Elemental. Oh, let me go back there. There we go. Messing with all my windows. <laughs> so, trying to keep up with the chat, too. If I miss anything, any questions, just repeat them. I'm kind of going back and forth to get the pictures. But um, here's Siege Elemental, Trample, Untapped Creatures, Can't Block. Tapped Creatures can't, can block. Um, so that's kind of fun. Just reverses who can block and who can't block. I wonder what the power toughness is on that. <laughs> Mike Anderson. Yeah, if you just walked in, you're probably like, what is happening? Um, yeah, they're doing these mystery pack events starting today at Richmond at the GP. So they're playing sealed with these cards and they open the pack and it looks like there's a lot of like commons and uncommons that were like buyback cards. Nothing too crazy. They have stamps on them, but they look like they were the original cards. But then there's also these cards that look like playtest cards. So they almost look like they were scans, I think, and printed like this. And they're playing, like, sealed with these. So a lot of wacky things on these playtest cards, basically. <laughs> Evan Elliott just needed a flyer. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's what the mystery packs are, apparently. They are going to do these at events all year, all, into next year, I guess, and also at game stores. So I guess this is the type of thing that you can expect. I do like the art. Like, it's really a cool idea. I do like these. Like I said, I think the issue a lot of people will have is the expectations were set really high for what mystery packs were. Let's look at some more. <laughs> I got another one. I got a couple more here. <laughs> this one is the one that I thought looked pretty funny. I haven't read it yet, but okay. <laughs> it's a 1-5. Five kids in a trench coat. A white and two human citizen, one five. Five kids in a trench coat counts as five creatures for spells and effects that count the number of creatures you control. <laughs> that actually seems kind of fun. 
Like, there's practical purposes for that. <laughs> I'd rather have some new Theros packs. I'm looking forward to Theros, actually. I think uh, there's been some leaks. I mean, the cards seem pretty cool so far. I mean, mostly we've seen commons. Um, but I do, I do think it's going to be a fun set. I like Theros as a plane, so it's going to be fun to go back there. <laughs> Roaring oblivion. Watch me and watch me open some box toppers instead. I would love to open some box toppers. I can't believe Ultimate Masters is like almost a year like away. Like it feels like that just happened. It's been like a year since we opened those boxes on the channel. <laughs> I'm uh, just assuming it's going to be banned, Otaris. Um, heavy speculation that on um, the November 18th banned and restricted list update, he's going to get banned in standard. So I've been trying to play Team of Reclamation and kind of learn that deck and kind of see what happens for post, post banning if it occurs. But Dan, yeah, I think a lot of people are kind of feeling that way too, a little disappointed about the packs. Um, yeah, I, I kind of feel like it, it's just the expectations were high, you know. I like these cards, though. I think they're kind of fun, but they just kind of really hyped it up a lot. Mana Ramp, you just missed Theros. It was a fun set. I really love that whole time period, like Innistrad. The Innistrad block and the Return to Ravnica block and the Theros block were tons of fun. It was a fun standard, too, other than the control build for a while, at least until Theros came out, then it kind of changed. But that Return to Ravnica Innistrad control build was pretty, pretty long games. I mean, just pretty drawn out. But other than that, I mean, it was a good format. Oh, these cards are fresh prints, all of them? Gavin said it on a Reddit post that they are all fresh prints and not buybacks. Okay. So these are additional cards. Interesting. That's very interesting. So I take it, I mean, most of them that aren't these cards anyway look like they're just uncommons and commons, so financially that won't have much of an impact. But if there are some, like, mana crypts or something out there, then, I don't know, it could soften some cards slightly, but maybe the numbers just aren't high enough to really matter. Yeah, I, I agree, Evan. This would be really fun to draft. I kind of wish I was drafting it. Um, I got another one, too. Let me pull it up. Hang on. We've looked at this one for a while. Here's this one, Pure Steel Angel, 8 casting cost. <laughs> I like the art on that one, that's awesome. Artifact Creature Angel, Flying Indestructible. When this enters the battlefield, exile all artifacts that aren't colorless. Whenever this deals combat damage to a player, you get an emblem with. If you would lose the game, instead your life total becomes 20. Shuffle your graveyard in your library, you lose all poison counters, and you lose this, this emblem, 4-4. Four, four. So kind of a fun take on the you can't lose the game it just kind of like resets you seems fun a casting cost is a lot though but in like a sealed environment like sure yeah i kind of think so too mark i think the really crazy cards are probably going to be a little tougher to to hit in these packs Yeah, Philip, I do think people need to digest this a little bit, because I kind of felt the same way. Like, I'm expecting, like, Mox Opals to be pouring out of packs, right? And that really isn't what happened. But now, when I look at these cards, this does seem kind of fun. Like, I would definitely think about trying to get to a to a event or a game store to play this. Jester, I don't know, I was talking about Oko earlier. I, I think he'll get banned in Pioneer. I think that's only a matter of time because they're banning cards slowly and eventually it's going to get to the point where Oko is going to be like the best thing. 
Modern, I would give Modern a little time to adjust. Modern might be able to handle the card. Same with Vintage or Legacy, but but he's he's strong. I mean, he could get banned. <laughs> Yeah, Mega Man. I don't know if it's one play test card per pack, maybe. If that's the case, they could hold some value for sure. Certain ones could. I'm finding these online, uh, Kyoji. So these are, I'm just pulling them off Reddit and just kind of seeing what people are opening at Richmond. I'm going to check again real quick and just see what's happening. Uh, so if I miss anything in the chat, just because I'm looking for more card pictures. Are spoil huh oh, that's it reddit seems to be deleting the posts with the spoilers I don't know why other than maybe they don't want them clogging up the entire thread all the threads um let me see if like mythic I'm gonna check mythic spoiler and see if they're posting anything I kind of doubt it or at least if they are it might take them a little time to catch up but let me see Oh, they are posting some. Hang on a second. Let's see if there's any here that we haven't seen. Here's one. There's a couple, maybe. So it looks like they're just focusing on these specialty cards, too. I got a few more. I'll pull up. Hang on one second. This one looks interesting. Let's see. Just the size here a little bit. If I missed any questions in the chat, just uh, feel free to repost. I was messing with these pictures. So, what's this one? So it's only a wasteland. Tap for colorless sacrifice and tap destroy target non-basic land that lands controller creates a waste a wastes land token. Okay. So there you go. That's actually. Good. I mean, it only hits non-basic land, but too bad we didn't have that for Field of the Dead, huh? <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, oh, Terrace, you had the same thought, turn Field of the Dead into a uh, waste. Um. Someone on the floor said that one of the test cards is a Kaya Planeswalker. That's interesting, Chris. I'll have to watch for that. Caden, I think Channel Fireball has been doing some streaming uh, of the openings uh, right now. I think that's where some of these pictures came from.
Ratchet. Um, yeah, Karn, Karn the Great Creator got restricted in Vintage, so you could play one copy, but but yeah, it was very dominant. It definitely was, and and I think that's the thing with Oko too. Like Oko can be put into check, but you put it into check by playing like four noxious grasps, grasps in your main deck, right, and playing Vraska and all this stuff to deal with it. So that kind of creates a really boxed in environment. So. I think it's probably not long for the world. Yeah, Jonathan, it does look like the repacks, other than these specialty cards, which are new, of course, the other cards in there are, are reprints. Um, so they are actually new printings of the cards, it looks like. Not, re not buybacks. I'll bring up another card image real quick here. Uh, Bobby, I think they could. I don't know if they would take the step of creating a restricted list for standard. It's an option. I mean, there's no reason they couldn't do that other than they've just never done it before and they might not want to cause confusion. But um, it's you, you could. So I guess we'll see. This is unicycle. It costs two equipment, vehicle, artifact, three, one. First strike, haste. Equip creature has first strike and haste. Equip one, crew one. <laughs> Again, amazing art. I'll give it that. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Chris. Definitely deck checks would be tough if you were restricting a card. It does open the door for people trying to pull some shenanigans for sure there. Vintage, it's one thing because there's vintage tournaments are usually pretty small. Not a lot of people play that format, but standard would be pretty big. Does somebody get a chromatic star? Has has a, that's something. Hey, chromatic star ain't bad. <laughs> what a five dollar card, right? I think, ish four or five dollars. Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker too. That's that's not bad. So there are some decent cards sprinkled in here. I don't know how often they show up, but there you go. Oh Fanta. Um, I don't know if I really have a way to get new um, picks of new cards. Um, at least right now, there might be a way that I need to figure out. <laughs> I'm still. This is the first time I've streamed, so like I've been saying, bear with me. Um, I'm still learning everything here, but. There might be a way. I'm not sure how, though. Duster, yeah, it looks like the mystery packs are a chaos draft type situation. Uh, they haven't released a list yet of pulls. I see a lot of people are starting to put them together. I pulled this image from, um, from Mythic Spoiler, so it looks like they're trying to kind of pull the images together of at least these type of cards. I don't have a Heroes and Legends Facebook. Um, I probably should get one. <laughs> I just kind of have the YouTube channel. Let's see. Let me pull up. I think I got another image here. we seen this one yet this one's kind of blurry unfortunately i don't know if i can read this one but i'll put it up so you can see it it's a it's a triple split card it looks like smell turd saw one red looks like destroy target artifact is one part it's an instant um oh wow i don't know if i can see that sorcery someone might be able to blow it out blow it up bigger on their screen than i have it on mine um Something about 2-2 two, two green creature, then sorcery, destroy target creature, then it looks like maybe you make another creature.
Yeah, and I was just assuming Oko will be banned maybe on November 18th in standard, uh, Mr. Blackbearder. So I was trying to play, I was playing a little, um, <laughs> very little, um, Team of Reclamation earlier, just trying to play a deck that doesn't have Oko, try to learn it. <laughs> I see a 1-1 one, one elk. Maybe it is a 1-1 one, one elk. <laughs> Create a 3-3 three, three green elk creature token. <laughs> Black effect is destroy target creature. Yeah, that one's real blurry. I have it kind of small on the screen, too, because I have the chat and I have the OBS and everything running. So you all might be able to see it a little bit better than I can. But, but that's not the best picture in the world. I like how it's like on top of a split card, though, too, in the background. <laughs> that's a nice touch. I'll give it that. Is that a Doritos card? It looks like it. <laughs> oh, it's the card. You know what? It's a it's a card ripped in half. And one side's like happy and one side's angry. I think that's what the picture is. <laughs> it took me a second. Oh, they're going to do... Yeah, that's right. Today is Thursday, so they're going to do their live stream. So they'll probably show some of these cards and talk about them. Yeah, the the cheese stands alone from Unglued. Kind of reminds me of that too, right? One black, destroy target creature. Its controller creates two one-half creature tokens. So that would make sense with the picture. Okay, cool, Fanta. I'll take. I'll try to get over there and take a look. Very cool. I got them. Let me put them up on the screen. Hang on just a second. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Yeah, I didn't think you could just send them to that email. Okay, let me just straighten these out and just resize this a little bit. These are from Fanta, so thank you for sending these. Am I cutting off? Okay, not really. There we go. Get my windows lined back up again. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. So, yeah, thank you, Fanta. That's really cool. Let me see if I can make out some of these. A good thing. Again, really unique art there. Enchantment. This is going to cost, it looks like a green, a white, and four. Spells and abilities you control can't destroy, exile, target, or cause you to sacrifice. Card name, this. Um, at the beginning of your upkeep, double your life total. Then, if you have a thousand or more life, you lose the game. <laughs> That's actually pretty sweet. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, downstairs. They haven't banned Oko yet in Standard. I was just playing um, a deck without Oko earlier. I'm assuming that probably it will get banned on November 18th, but we'll see. <laughs> so that's that one. What else is here? Personal decoy duck. <laughs> Personal decoy enters the battlefield with a number of loyalty counters on it equal to your life total. If it would leave the battlefield, exile it instead of putting it anywhere else. You can't be attacked. And then it looks like... Oh, it's a Planeswalker. Plus one, you gain one life, minus four, draw a card. That's awesome. <laughs> That is awesome. So it's a duck planeswalker. Okay, they're, they're winning me over. They're winning me over. I didn't see the duck planeswalker coming. Um, <laughs> Enchant Enchantment land. Um, this is enchanted. looks like prairie. Uh, enters the battlefield tapped. Okay, so tapped land. But it's an enchantment land, so it counts as an enchantment. That's interesting. I could see something like that showing up in Theros, right? That would be cool. I, I would I would actually that would be like really fun in in the like sealed draft environment to be able to pad out the amount of enchantments you control with your lands. Of course that can be powerful. We saw that in the past with those artifact lands, so I don't know, maybe they wouldn't do that. <laughs> so Niv Mizzet. Does that say Hive Lord? Two red, two blue, and two dragon. Oh, it's a sliver. Legendary creature, Dragon Sliver, 4-4. Four, four. Slivers you control have flying, and whenever you draw a card, this creature deals 1 damage to any target and tap, draw a card. It's got the the equation on there. That's cool. Korean Adaption. 1 green aura. That one's kind of cut off, but Enchant Creature. Enchant Creature gets plus 1 plus 1 Vigilance. Those are awesome. Thank you for sending those. Uh, Sarah Alex, the Mystery Boosters, they are available now starting today at the big events like the GPs and stuff. They're playing sealed with them right now. And it looks like they've reprinted a lot of like commons and uncommons from throughout Magic's history. A few really cool cards have showed up here or there. It looks like somebody did get like a Mana Crypt. But they also have these cards that look like playtest cards in them that are really wacky and do strange things. So... I guess that's the idea. Kind of a chaos draft sort of thing. They're going to do these at game stores too, I guess, pretty soon at some point. And they'll continue these at big events as well into next year. I think most of next year, they said. It's an aura with storm. Oh. Yeah, these, these were actually some of the cooler ones I saw. Thanks again for sending these. <laughs> these were awesome. I love the Planeswalker, and I like how there's a Planeswalker. It's on top of a Planeswalker in the background there. That's really cool. And two copies of it. In the sea. I assume that's somebody's seal pool. <laughs> a mystery booster can be anything, even a boat. <laughs> They haven't said if these are going to be legal in eternal formats. They kind of feel like uncards to me. So I feel like they're probably going to treat them like uncards. But I guess they'll, they'll probably say something at the um, the stream, which I think is at 5 o'clock today. So probably what I'll do is hang out for a little while longer and then let you go watch the Magic stream. We'll get some more information. But, yeah, these were fun to look at. I guess now that I'm seeing more of them, I will say that I think these are kind of fun. Like, I would love to play with this. This looks like it could be a blast. Their biggest, I think, downfall, though, with the whole situation was hyping it a little too much because I think people have these high expectations. The only thing they told us was no reserve list cards. So people, myself included, I'm thinking, like, are we going to see a bunch of Mox Opals coming out of these things, Mana Crypts, so on and so forth. It sounds like you might hit a card like that periodically, but probably not too often. So the real draw here are these cards that you see on the screen. And these can hold some value. I mean, obviously, I don't know. Maybe it's like one per pack, it looks like, right? Because a lot of people are showing six of them. Like they're opening six packs and getting one per pack. So, yes, if there's different rarities involved, I don't know how that works exactly. Then, yeah, some of these might be sought after among casual players and stuff or just for collectors. 
Arise the Redeem somebody got. That's a good card. <laughs> yeah, and you just got to wonder the frequency when it comes to the other reprints. Like something like Reese, like Mana Crypt. Like how many are going to end up out there? And maybe not too many. Maybe it won't make a dent in the price of the previous ones. But who knows? Maybe it will make a little dent. Uh, these are playtest looking cards that Magic made for the Mystery Booster packs. So you play Sealed or Draft with these, basically. Right now they're playing Sealed. I don't know if they'll do this. I assume you can play Draft with them, too. Oh, the flavor text says Sliv equals Nib. <laughs> I didn't even catch that. That's awesome. I'm going to need to look at these closer later when I can blow them up a little bit bigger. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. Definitely. Um... It'll be fun to play with the Enchantment Lands and Theros. That would definitely be awesome. Yeah, I'll leave these up for a couple more minutes, and then I don't know if y'all want to try to play another game with Team of Reclamation. <laughs> Watch me try to figure out how to play a complicated deck the first time I ever stream. <laughs> And then uh, we'll probably take off so that you can go watch the Magic stream at 5. I'm, I'm curious to see what they say there, too. But, yeah, I feel like this is one of those things that at first people, like, I think a lot of people are going to be disappointed, like I said, because of the high expectations. But then the more they see these cards, that's how I kind of feel. Like, I started off like, oh, okay. But now as I see these, it's kind of cool. Like, I wouldn't mind owning some of these, playing, like, casually with them like these would be fun in a cube if you could build a cube with these cards that would be a blast i don't know how easy or hard that will be but yeah magic historian the the hype it was the hype <laughs> you know i just by now you think they'd be more careful with that right like just set expectations you can say it's a mystery, but just say don't expect necessarily that these are going to financially be, you know, huge cards. Like, even if you just said that. No reserve list cards, they did say that. And, you know, don't expect to pull Mox Opals out of every pack or something, you know. I think that's really the deal. Rawls Vanguard, Vanguard cards confirmed. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So I'll look, let me check uh, Reddit one more time to see if there's anything else coming up. Philip McDonald, SCG announced that Pioneer is replacing Legacy on the tour. Not too surprising. Um, I think the Legacy numbers have really been down. I remember back in the day, SCG was Legacy. Like you thought, like you they were just synonymous when they you did SCG open. You know, it was always Legacy. And then Modern came about, and Legacy slowly started to drift down the <laughs> drift down when it came to the amount of people playing it. So it does make sense. Modern and Pioneer. I, I, I'm not too surprised to see that happen. Oh, did you send me another one? Hang on. Hang on a second, Fanta. Let me check. Okay, I gotta show I gotta show everybody this. <laughs> Let me save it and everything. I'll get it up. <laughs> I'm eventually gonna get used to navigating these menus. 
in case you just joined, this is the first time I've streamed, so I'm trying to figure that out at the same time as I'm doing everything else. So Fanta sent this as well. He sent the last picture, too, of the cards we've been looking at, but... There you go. The upcoming Elk Masters. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. Thank you for sending that. That's awesome. <laughs> so, what's that? The, there's an opal and lotus. <laughs> That's phenomenal. <laughs> Elk Masters. I like the packaging too, actually. The packaging's quite elegant. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> The hero's promo code, yeah. <laughs> Mega Man. Yeah, I'm sure if uh, if they stock these at flipsidegaming.com, you'll be able to get 10% off. <laughs> Very true. Elkigant <laughs> packaging. Definitely Magic Historian. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> on that note, I'll check one more time, see if anything crazy showing up, but... I think we kind of got the idea when it comes to these cards. Am I still there? Do you guys still hear me? I clicked on the wrong thing. I don't know if I ended the stream or not. You hear me? Okay, cool. Good. I totally closed the window, and apparently the stream still goes because OBS is going. So... There you go. <laughs> I knew I was bound to do that at some point. <laughs> Thank you. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Very cool. Phil McDonough, my EDH group uh, band Soul Ring. <laughs> they flipped their lid over Mirrored Lotus. <laughs> yeah, I think... Um, I think that, that kind of makes sense because it does feel like you're in a situation where you're always playing Soul Ring, right? Like, it just starts to collapse in what you can play. Um, if you if you want to send them to PK Dan's, if you want to send them to my email address that's on YouTube, I believe it's. Hang on. I should know this. It's Outlook. 
Heroes.com, but I think it's just Heroes and Legends. Yeah, Heroes and Legends and Outlook.com. Yeah, so if you have some pictures of cards, definitely let me know. I'll post them so we can look at them. Awesome. Thank you, Fanta. Thanks for the pictures, too. That was awesome. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I really want to draft Elk Masters, too. <laughs> So, so I think in the future, um, I do want to do more of these streams. Like, I don't know. I don't want to set a schedule yet. So I kind of know what's going on, but definitely like during preview season, this was kind of fun to look at cards this way. So maybe we'll do some gameplay and then kind of, uh, check in on what cards are previewed and stuff like that. And, um, I didn't play a whole lot today, but maybe I'll play another game or two before we go. But, um, at some point, I'd like to do like a draft and stuff on here. I think that's fun. Better, I'm uh, better at drafting and playing like sealed probably than I am standard. I don't, just don't play enough standard to get to know the decks and the interactions that well. I play more, though, now that Magic Arena is around. So definitely we'll have to do some of that on stream. Uh, Phil and McDonald go to Reddit and start by new. Yeah, let me check it out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see some new cards up here. Oh, there's the Mirrored Lotus. Hang on a second. Let me... Let me save some of these images and then we'll uh, take a look at them because some of these are pretty cool. Bear with me one second here. <laughs> that one's awesome. Hang on one second. I'll post some more of these. Oh, there's the Vanguard card. I see that on here. Okay, hang on. Let me try not to click on the wrong thing again. Once I start streaming more, too, I should get a little better at this. Kind of getting used to everything here. Okay, so there's a few new cards. Hang on, we already looked at that one. Let's see if I can sort this. All right, bear with me. Here we go. Here's the Mirrored Lotus. This actually looks pretty sweet. All right. Hang on one second. You can probably see it now, I assume. I'm just getting my chat window back up. Okay. So Mirrored Lotus, zero artifact, reflect zero. As this enters the battlefield, each opponent may pay zero. When they do, they create a token that's a copy of this, except it lacks this ability in that it can tap, exile, add three mana of any one color. Wow. That's kind of awesome. <laughs> So yeah, my assumption is these are probably for casual play then. Because that would be insane. Yeah, Mythic Spoiler has a bunch up now too. They seem to be keeping up pretty well with it. <laughs> Magic Historian, yeah. I should be just playing Oko decks. We'd probably win. <laughs> Probably be a lot easier than trying to play Team of Reclamation. <laughs> Too funny. So that is the Mirrored Lotus. Let me pull up another one here.
Hey, Rory, thank you very much. Yeah, 300 plus viewers on the stream. Um, that is very unexpected because this is the first time I ever streamed. So that was really awesome. So thank you all for being here. Uh, that was great. And yes, definitely Saturday we'll do a market watch for sure. All right, so let's see. Crafty Cut Purse with Mirrored Lotus, yes. <laughs> this one here, hang on a second, here it is. Seek Bolas's Council. This is going to cost a blue, a black, and red sorcery. Choose one at random. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of things. You get an emblem with the beginning of your upkeep. Pay a blue, a black, and red. If you don't, you lose the game. Each player discards their hand. This is the second one. Third, Planeswalk to, pool, planeswalk to Pools of Becoming. Once there, you can roll the planar die. And only if you're playing... Oh, only if you're playing Plane Chase. Oh, I get it. Oh, that's funny. Okay. For each opponent, exile cards from the top of their library until you exile an outland card. You may cast those cards pay, without paying their mana cost. Destroy all creatures and non-Bolas Planeswalkers. You get an emblem with, you can cast, <laughs> move it up. You can cast non-land cards from your sideboard. Wow, okay. <laughs> Choose one at random. That's kind of cool. Uh, these are in the mystery packs, Jake. So I don't know if any of these type of cards will cross over into the unstuff. Uh, maybe. They do feel very unset to me, but I guess we'll see. Hey, no problem, Patrick. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Marcel. I appreciate that. Thank you all. Jeremy, yeah, that's that's a good question. I, I don't know if they'll make these commander legal just because, like, unset cards aren't, but who knows. Um... Of course, I mean, playgroups can play with whatever they want, so. <laughs> that, is, that is completely busted. <laughs> yeah, six, you'd have to roll like a d6 or find some other way to randomize it, I suppose. So, yeah. Okay, let's look at another card. There's some other cool ones here, actually. Some of the better ones are showing up now, it seems. Okay, so that was that one. This one we haven't seen yet. Okay. This is generated horizons two red or sorry two green and two, and it's an enchantment. <laughs> the art on these cracks me up. They're actually pretty awesome. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a forest land token. Okay, a lot of these tokens of cards that exist. I think that's kind of interesting. Um, forest for the trees v two PNG. <laughs> that's awesome. So I'll leave that one up for a minute so you get a chance to look at it. We'll look at another one. What time is it? 4.30. So there's a half hour till they do the stream, the magic stream. So I'll probably leave a little before that so you guys can see that. But I'll pull up another one here. This is the one that kind of caught my attention when I was looking at the images. Because it's the <laughs> Morrow's Gone Nuts. Two green. Double any effect that doubles. It quadruples in parentheses. <laughs> and then the art from the look at me on the DCI. But just repeat it over and over again. That one's kind of awesome too. <laughs> yeah, it does. It says not for constructive play. So test card not for constructive play. So they, they put that on test cards, I think, typically to notate their test cards. But, but yeah, I think that's kind of the idea here. They're for limited situations with this set, and then anyone who wants to play them. I was saying earlier, I think it would be fantastic to build a cube with these cards. I think that would be awesome. Or just build an uncube and, like, put some of these in there. Again, it would be interesting to see how hard they are to kind of get once they start flowing and the product gets out there. Um, their magic stream is on Twitch. It's on the regular Magic Wizards channel. They do it every Thursday. I think usually at 5, right? Sometimes they do adjust the time. <laughs> it's on top of a doubling season. I didn't even catch that. That is funny. <laughs> Hellfire Red Dragon. Hellfire Dragon. That is funny. It is on top of doubling season. <laughs> I, I admit, they did a really good job with, like, just the aesthetics of these cards. Like, they are really cool. I will give them that.
<laughs> Jeremiah, you know, it's cool that you're here. You're always been rooting for me to get a preview card. I guess this is the closest thing. <laughs> I appreciate that. So we're kind of previewing some cards. And it's kind of funny, like Wizards, um, I mean, I, was, I thought about it at some point if they ever did offer me a preview card, like, that'd be cool, like, I'd totally do it. But part of me is also like, wow, I don't know if I want the responsibility. <laughs> I don't know, that's crazy probably, but. <laughs> I'll pull up another one here. There's another pretty funny one. Oh, did you send a card? Okay, I'll take a look in a second here. I'll pull up this one. This is that Raul Van, uh, Vanguard card that I think somebody mentioned earlier. Let me just shrink it down a little bit so we can see the whole thing. Yet again, the art is amazing. I'll give it that. Okay, so get this centered. Okay, requirement. Um, your starting deck contains only instant sorcery and land cards. Starting hand size plus one, starting life total minus five. If an instant or sorcery spell you cast would cause you to draw one or more cards, draw an additional card. If an instant or sorcery spell you cast would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals one additional damage to that permanent or player. Okay, so kind of a fun throwback to Vanguard there. Hey, pause. Thanks for coming. So, Thomas, let me check and see if I can find the card you sent me. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Put it up real quick. This is, um, it does kind of feel like this is the same sort of, like, creation process with these cards that they made. I mean, for years, people have been making these kind of fun cards. And Wizards finally figured out they could do it, too. <laughs> so... <laughs> this is the one Thomas sent. Let me get my windows lined up again. At some point, I will get better at doing this. The more streams I do, I'm sure. <laughs> Bob Ross, he would deny his accidents. <laughs> uh, it was a happy accident. Human artist, 2-2 two, two, flash. All cards in all players' hands, libraries and graveyards are all colors. All permanents are all colors. Protection from multicolor. Kind of like a painter servant in a way. Kind of cool. <laughs> Too overpowered. Yeah, I think... Uh, it, but it's funny. Like I said, people have created cards like this forever, right? And Wizards is just like having fun creating wacky cards and found something to do with them. Hey, why not? That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, what time? We got about a little over 20 minutes. Should I try to play another game of Team of Reclamation and see if I can figure out how to do it <laughs> while I'm streaming? We'll try. Hang on a sec. <laughs> yeah, I do like the art on that, actually. <laughs> You're right, Thomas. All right, we're going to try to play a game of Team of Reclamation. Now, you, you might have saw me play this earlier. Hey, Paws, that's awesome. Congrats. 400 subs, that's a big deal. It takes time to do that. I know in the beginning, it, it definitely um, it is not easy. So, All right, so this is Team of Reclamation. This is a deck that's pretty good without Oko. Um, sometimes they play Oko in the sideboard, so I have not played a lot of this deck, so I'm probably going to make a ton of mistakes considering I'm also 
trying to figure out how to stream at the same time. <laughs> I gotta get used to reading the chat. Like. <laughs> oh, there were some problems with the client? Okay. We'll see how this goes then, I guess. Um, we got some lands. Either got, um, I really want... I think I'm gonna mulligan this. I kind of want to try it. There's Wilderness Reclamation. I want to try to hit that card if possible. Um, I can probably ditch... I can get rid of a chemistry for right now because we got two ops. We just go with that. Okay. So we'll go first. I'm just going to play this and opt on the opponent's turn. Looks like they're playing blue. Let's see what they do. Well, uh, well, pass. See you, see you later, uh, Marcel. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Yeah, pause. I mean, I remember those days where it was like, you know, you're excited to get get subs and, you know, get things going. Because really, once you get to a thousand, back back when I was doing it, you could actually make money before you had a thousand subs. But the problem was, um, you weren't honestly making really anything, you know, a whole lot anyway. So, you know, once you kind of get to that a thousand, though, yeah, you know, you're kind of how you get going and it just takes time and patience so hang in there all right so i will opt again on the opponent's turn and then quickly we'll try to play wilderness reclamation hopefully we'll hit something i wonder if they're playing the same deck they're doing the same thing we did Hopefully they're learning how to play it too. <laughs> oh no, this is different. Fairy Miscreant. Maybe this is a Flyers deck, perhaps. So they're playing that. We're gonna opt. Um, that is not bad, but it's gonna take us a while to hit that. I kind of want some action that's gonna come faster. Yeah, that could help. Maybe. Just play this, and then I can play a shock land next turn. Yeah, I'll keep that on top. That gives us some protection. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's just um, it takes time to even you know even though I've been doing it for a number of years now, it still takes time to figure everything out and try to make the best content. You know, the hardest part for me has been equipment. You know, as far as do I have the best equipment to do all the things I do? Probably not, but, you know, eventually you kind of get there. Hey, Mana Ramp. I showed a few more cards. Um, there are actually some cool ones. So, definitely can you can probably go back if you want to see them or check out the replay. I figured I'd play a game and then probably will probably leave at that point since uh, the magic stream is going to start at 5 and I'm sure a lot of people want to see that. Okay, so Wilderness Reclamation. I think that's the key to this deck is getting that out as quickly as possible and not having a counter. <laughs> probably should have saw that coming into 3 open mana, but alright. That's fine. Um, entrance tap, we don't have anything to do with it. So, I don't know if this is like a control deck then. Maybe it's Azorius Control. I wasn't sure if they played Fairy Miscreant in that deck. No, it feels like a Flyers deck. We're probably in trouble. Pause, oh, it's snowing in Vermont. Yikes. <laughs> Oh, Mana Ramp. Okay. Oh, you're day four, man. Oh, very cool. I don't know if I ever made that connection. Maybe I did at one point. Um, but I just wasn't thinking that. But yeah. Thank you for your support. I always appreciate that. Um, that's that's awesome. Okay, it looks like they're tapped out, so I'm going to go into this reclamation. Now I can counter something. Do I want to counter that? Probably not. Although there's nothing else I can really do with my mana other than draw two cards. Yeah, you know what? I'll make them. They'll have to pay the three if they want it. And I'll let them do that. 
They'll draw the cards, but it'll tap them out so they won't do anything else this turn. And then maybe if we draw a land, we could use Expansion Explosion. Hey, thanks, Paws. I appreciate that. Alright. Okay, I have to put a stopper on that at the end of my turn, so let me do that. That's one thing I learned the few times I did play this deck. So, let me see if I get this right. forward. Let that resolve. Oh no, I did it too soon. My mana pool emptied. Okay. Uh, I need to learn how to use this deck. So now in that case, it's not going to help me any. So I can undo. Okay, that's fine. That's how you learn. <laughs> Thanks, Card Shop Reality. I appreciate that. Thanks for being here. <laughs> I'll try, I'll fire try, yeah. <laughs> I messed that up. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to use this deck. Yeah, I promise. So I just had to wait to the next phase to do that. Because in theory, what I'm trying to do is tap all my mana... Have that untap, then tap it again to use the expansion explosion, but clearly that wasn't working for me. So I'm going to take four. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Bob Ross is the owner of Painter Service. All right. Okay, that's actually pretty good. If I can do this without messing it up, that'll be even better. Yeah. So, I'm gonna do this first, right now. Get that off the board, although I'm sure it's gonna get countered. Well, that's the thing. I mean, they can just hold back counter spells for the rest of this game because I can't do anything. They can. They only have to hit me a couple more times for four, and that's a. I think they got this one. Yeah, Matthew, it is a good card, though. I will say. I mean, it's done some good things while it's been a standard. Hey, Jake, that's a good question. No, you know, I think. I think Oko, Oko's good. I mean, Oko's really good, but in a different environment, maybe it wouldn't have been so, so strong to the point that it, it it's at right now. I think they got this one. I'm gonna learn how to play this deck for the next stream. How's that sound? <laughs> That's my goal. All right. Yes. Um, I could try to play this for three, but I'm sure it's going to be countered. Let's 
so I'm actually not dead. Maybe I should start paying attention. <laughs> Miscreant. I mean, if they don't really don't have a counter spell, I'm a little surprised that I got away with that expansion explosion. Yeah, man, ramp. I haven't spent any real money at all. I've um. I think one time at the beginning they had some deal for, I think it was $5, you got some cards, and I did do that to try it out. But, um, but I haven't spent any money. I was kind of the same way in the beginning. Like, I was like, oh, we'll kind of see what happens. But the more I've played this, I really like it. They're scrying. I guess they can do that. I kind of wonder what's in their hand. They got four cards, and I this doesn't feel like an Azorius control deck. It feels like a flyers deck. But I don't see any flyers, and I don't really see any counter spells now. So I don't know what's exactly happening here. <laughs> they're opting. I mean, they're digging for something, but I mean, they're dead in two turns. If they play something, we can bounce it. Um, to get the cards, you just basically have to play. Like, they have achievements, daily achievements that get, get you gold and get you experience points. And then eventually, those lead to getting packs. So you get to open a lot of packs. Then you get wild cards, so you can turn in wild cards for the cards you need. So, it's actually, I mean... I like to come on and just at least do my achievements every day, and they're not necessarily hard things to do. Like you don't have to win necessarily; you just have to play. Counter target spell. Creator mana costs three or less. Okay, and a two-one flyer. Hmm. If I put that back in their hand, they could counter something else. So I don't love that. Yeah, I'll leave that as is for right now, and then I think what I'll do. I'm going to attack in with these and see how they respond. Yeah, it could just be some random build. I did play in the open. I didn't play in the competitive since I figured I was going to make a ton of mistakes with this deck. <laughs> okay, so they ended up taking that damage. What if I did this? Let me see a couple more cards. Yeah, I mean, maybe they could have a Wrath. Oh, well, this could be... One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. If I actually figure out how to do this, I think I could beat them, assuming they don't have a counter spell. Should I try? So I want to go to end step. They're responding. Oh, they got something. Okay. Okay, Brazen Borrower. Okay, so, yeah, they got me there. But that's fine if that's what they're doing. Because we can still... Yeah, I could Brazen Borrower. I could do Petty Theft on both their cards and attack in for eight. And I think that's game, right? Unless they have an answer. Because I assume they're going to play the 3 1 Flyer. I can respond to that now. But I don't think I want to, right? Because they can't kill me with five. Unless they have a way to pump it, but that's fine because I can use this card anytime. This part of me is kind of like if they technically they shouldn't attack unless they have a trick. Hmm. 
Yes, Wes, definitely. Okay, so I'm going to take the five. Maybe that's a risk I shouldn't take, but... Okay, that's what I thought. So now... that hang on copy target instant or sorcery oh i get it okay copy i want to copy the raisin bar order okay gotcha gotcha and then we'll get the other card up <laughs> thomas <laughs> you'd probably play this quicker than i played it i was playing gate shift actually for a while last season and it took me a little bit to kind of get the hang of it, but once I did, it was a good deck. Okay, so they can counter that part of it. Let's see, might as well do this. I don't need that. So, I don't think that's 8 damage though, right? 5. Computer fans going crazy. <laughs> That's what you hear in the background, I'm sure. <laughs> Chugging along. Oh, we did it. Even with my bad gameplay, we still managed to pull one out. <laughs> I think they had bad draws, though. I feel like they should have had something. They had a ton of cards in their hand that they didn't seem to have anything to do with. They could have been sideboard, like pre-sideboarded against Oko. That could very well be what was going on there. So, yeah. I'll take it, I guess. I really need to learn how to use this deck, though. But I did figure out the whole end, the end trigger. So, uh, so mana ramp. That's kind of what happens. Like I hit, I did an achievement, and I got some experience. So I got gems and experience and gold coins, and I can turn those into like playing different games. And if I buy a draft with these, then I get the packs. I, I get the cards I draft, and I also win at least one pack. I could win two packs if I win some games. Stuff like that, basically how it works. <laughs> well, it's still hot in Florida. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> so. Hey, thanks, Card Shop Reality. Have a good day. Welp. What time is it? It's about five minutes to the Magic Stream, so I will probably sign out. I do, this is the first stream I've done, so I wasn't sure, like, exactly what I was doing. Um, and also, I'm playing a deck I've never really played before, too. I don't know why I chose to do that, but, um, <laughs> but I had a good time. Hey, thanks. I really appreciate everybody being here. <laughs> oh, Thomas, I'll check it out. I'll definitely take a look at it. <laughs> thank you for sending it. Um, but yeah, thank you. Um, oh, and Matthew, Fires of Invention is great with Nicol Bolas and Brawl. I, I might try that out. I'd love to, I'd love to play some Brawl on here problem is you can only play on Wednesdays for some reason uh, whatever um but anyway so um but hey thanks for coming out yeah definitely <laughs> definitely mana ramp no it's this has been a blast I'm definitely going to do this more because I had a lot of fun with it actually I wasn't sure like I wanted to do this and I was like okay am I going to be able to figure this out logistically and everything with my computer I got two computers here and I'm trying to work on first time I've ever used OBS or streamed on YouTube or anything so I'm like, how hard, you know, is this going to be easy or not? And I, I figured it out. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. <laughs> I appreciate that. So yeah, I had a blast doing this. I'm definitely going to do more streams. Um, and I'm definitely going to do this like when they preview cards again. I think that could be a lot of fun. And just playing with a deck that I actually know what I'm doing with maybe next time. <laughs> so... So very cool, but hey, thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to check out that magic stream on Twitch and kind of see. Thanks, Mana Ramp. You too. Kind of see what's going on there. So, um, you know, if you missed anything or missed the cards we looked at earlier, you can check it out on the replay. And um, hey, I appreciate y'all. As always, thanks for being here. 
thanks for the super chats I got earlier too. That was amazing. I didn't even think about that or expect that, but um, never expected, but just really appreciated. So thank you all. Um, I can't believe we had over 300 people here. Uh, that was awesome. So thanks everybody. And um, I'll see you next time. And again, I'll do one of these hopefully sooner than later. So now I got to figure out how to turn this off. So I might be here for another minute. <laughs> <laughs> like what is he doing you can't turn off the stream um <laughs> i'm sure there's some button here that says i can turn it off so so have a great day i'll see you later <laughs>